We're back to music everywhere. Last time we were at um, T Max rehearsal, and I went there with his band to feature with him and play some music. Now we're, we're with my band. Rehearsal as well, yeah, my life is boring. It's rehearsal, music. Trust me, everything you see about us and all the flashy, enjoy the life. When you're a professional musician, you work all day just like everybody else. Let's go. Rehearsals. I think it's even worse being a musician because you work all day and still have to party all night sometimes. As work. Can you believe that? Oloye, everybody, that's my manager. We say Africa. Anything happen, Africa. I have uh, the crew from Hit TV here following me around, you know, so they're going to check out our rehearsals. Make me look good. Am I stopping justice? The saxes. Then the trumpets will answer. Let me give you the pattern now, and I'll show you the arrangement. I want you to get the rhythm, you know, in the rhythm of the music itself, like that. And for English language, egghead means a person will get brain. So that I don't give this guy the most opposite of names. But that first phrase, but the wah legato. Then second phrase, let me wah because the trumpets. Oh yeah, let's try it again. Let me try it. To me, this instrument is called the clefs. This is the shekere. But one day, when Yiboma asked Wale, say, what is the name of the instrument? He said, it's spiritual. Spiritual. So, it's now spiritual. That's spiritual. So, right now, we are. We are in Dede's house in Antony. In his, actually, we are in Dede's rehearsal room. He's not around right now, but he's borrowed me his place for me to use as I like. He's such a nice guy to me, you know. Hello, everybody. We're going over to my house. You know, we're going to chill. Um, let me do something fun at least. You know, play some pro. Show that at least I'm still a normal guy, you know, not just some. Um, you know, at least, you know, so I'm a bit fun, you know. So let's go to my house. You know. I'm always hanging at home. So let's go. I hope my friends are there. Ah. Okay, this is still music everywhere. Going home, catch me at home, everybody. Bye. <laughs> you know, you can't win every day, you can't win every day. <laughs> it's going pretty well as it normally goes, you know. You know, I've been doing music all day, so my mind is still in the musical side. I have to switch it to the football side now to deal with this guy. What's up with all these free goals now? Oh yeah, come on boys. Let's go, let's do one for ETV. 
It's as if he heard me. Woohoo! Kaka! Yay! How can I say? What can I say? The gods of football are against me. And by the way, um, in this house, once you are three goals down, there's no chance of a comeback. <laughs> this is music everywhere still. And uh, Vibes and I, Vibes is my dog, we're going to Kalakuta. We've been chilling on the house, so this is going to be the last part of the, of the day. We're going to go check out what's going on in Kalakuta. Come on, Vibes. Let's go. THC and they work for this house. That's how we get light all the time, man. No wonder. Villagers know the year, we believe that the year go, now come. I felt I didn't have to discipline us. You think it was that, you know? We all respected him, he made us respect him. You know? So if you respect him, the discipline part is easy. If you respect someone, you do what they say. And you know, it wasn't about fear, but you know, I was afraid of Fela's more. There's, there's nobody in this world that will look into Fela's eyes and not be afraid of this. Fela's eyes are very strong eyes, you know. Yeah, but mostly you know, it was about the respect, you know. Me yeah. yeah, and my dad never used to lie to me as a kid, you know. Because people used to think that children don't know when you lie to them. They know, they just don't have the bravery to tell you you're a liar. <laughs> you know? So my, anyway, my mom, my, my dad never lied to me. So I, I trusted him, I respected him. So the discipline was there. And his rules were not so hard to follow. Our curfew was 6 a.m. As long as we don't go to church or mosque. You know? What else do you need? <laughs> and don't lie, don't steal, no matter what you know, those ones go without saying. It was, yeah, I, nobody woke me up to go to church. If I didn't want to go to school, I had to do what say. I didn't want to go to school today. But the problem with that is that my mom, would, my dad would say, okay, stay, and my mom would kill me. And I'm always, I'm, I sleep in my mom's part of the house. So when she will come for me, Fela will not be there to save me. So I choose to go to school. Okay. Ima Junior. You did repair generator too. Mona showed I got a blue. No that I can't repair your ACV. Now in the car, when you run, no. So anybody that's not been in Kalakuta before, you know, this is where Fela is buried, you know, so. And we, we rehearse here as well, but they are fixing it. That's why we are not rehearsing here at the moment, you know? That's why we are rehearsing at Diddy's place. We normally used to rehearse in this room here. But when they are done, we start rehearsing on the top floor. Where Fela is buried, you know? In honor of our ancestors, isn't it? Yeah, we pour libations. At least, you know, Fela is somebody that me I saw while he was alive, and I know he deserved for us to pour some liquor in his name, you know? I feel the people of Nigeria, you know, we are content with what we get. You know, and I think we, sh we should not be content with what we get because questioning things, you know, is the only way to make it better. You know, so everybody in Nigeria for some reason, I don't know how they imprint it in everybody's mind, you know, that one day it will get to your turn. You know, and it's not going to get to your turn, man. Only in Nigeria I've seen that they call activists radicals. We need to involve ourselves. We have another chance in 2015. We need to demand the right things. Happy vibes. High five me if I'm right. Yeah, that's my boy. My name is Shewan Kalabu Kuti and you are here in my birth house, Kalakuta Republic, uh, where, which we are turning into a museum. Thank you for coming now and seeing a day in my boring life. <laughs> Music everywhere, everybody. Africa.